SolidWorks 2026 is upon us, with pre-release 1 already available and Service Pack 0 just around the corner. And just like last year, it's packed with new enhancements to make the design process more intuitive, efficient, and effective. We've put together a top 10 list to cover our favorites, and we'll also touch on SolidWorks' relatively new policy of introducing enhancements throughout the year, and how you may have missed some big ones in 2025. Whether you're already trying PR1 or contemplating an upgrade, here's our favorites from SolidWorks 2026. Now before we get started, I just want to remind everyone that this top 10 is just a fraction of what SolidWorks has to offer this year. And we've got a much longer version of this exact video with more thorough explanations along with a whole series of videos covering what's new in SolidWorks 2026 over at SolidProfessor.com. So go check that out if you're looking for more. Lastly, I'd like to offer a quick shout out to my friend and colleague Ryan Navarro, who designed the router assembly we'll be using to show off these capabilities. It's got over 400 components, a fully articulating gantry and spindle, and some pretty impressive details. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a look at number one on the list. PhotoView 360 was retired back in 2024, but SolidWorks 2026 now offers a somewhat similar replacement. If you have Visualize installed and licensed, you can enable the add-in, go to the Render Tools tab, and click Render to create a photorealistic image directly from the graphics area. Set file name, format, size, and a quality preset, and click OK. Rendering uses the Visualize Offline Renderer, so speed and quality will depend on settings and hardware. The new DSPBR appearance library also helps with this, providing predictable lighting and textures. As a heads up, you may need to customize the Render Tools tab to add the Render command. It's not here by default in PR1. This is a relatively small UI tweak, but it makes everything feel so much better than previous years we had to include it. You can now right-click any of the Manager pane tabs, choose Customize, and hide what you don't use. When collapsed, you can click the ellipses icon that appears for quick access to active tabs. This is so much cleaner than previous years where you had to use those tiny arrow icons to navigate through the tabs. This enhancement is especially useful if you run add-ins like Cam, which result in several of these tabs. The new split configurations command lets you save every configuration to its own file in a single operation and provides an update where used option to automatically remap references and assemblies if you prefer. This replaces the old school save as strategy, which required you to repeatedly save the same file over and over and delete the unnecessary configurations. And it essentially automates repeated use of the save configurations command that was introduced in 2020, while allowing you to get ahead of any potential file reference issues. You can now define reference points directly with numeric XYZ values in parts and assemblies, which is excellent for any workflow requiring the use of known coordinates. This is now a super fast process and it's great for locating features, positioning components, or representing known positions. This replaces the legacy approach of defining a sketch point with multiple dimensions in a 3D sketch and converting it to a reference point. A new performance option controls whether assemblies are marked for rebuild when cosmetic changes occur in referenced components. The default always option will behave just like previous releases, but setting this option to never will not require parts or assemblies to be rebuilt so long as the changes are only cosmetic. Cosmetic changes include adding, modifying, hiding, or deleting reference geometry, appearances, decals, or non-driving sketches, along with hiding and showing bodies, or canceling feature changes before confirming them. In 2026, you'll see a bracketed asterisk in the file name for cosmetic-only changes, and the rebuild icon will not appear in the feature tree. This can be extremely useful for large assembly performance. Sheet metal base flanges can now start from a vertex, a surface face plane, or an offset. This is especially useful for multi-body and master modeling workflows where existing geometry is commonly reused to establish intelligent design intent. You can now create sheet metal bodies in the proper position without requiring extra planes or converted sketch geometry, which can make it difficult to keep things organized. Complex intersections of three or more members are now significantly easier to deal with in structure system designs. Instead of adjusting trim orders per member by modifying a numeric value, 
graphical combinations are illustrated and presented on screen for you to choose from. You can browse through the available options and click them to preview the result, and whichever corner treatment you choose will propagate to similar corners automatically, saving tons of time. Static simulation studies now support angular rotation in displacement plots, allowing you to view displacement in degrees with respect to an axis of your choosing. This makes assessing values like torsional stiffness very straightforward, whereas previous years offered only translational displacement values from which characteristics related to torsion and twist had to be inferred. Just choose angular rotation in the displacement plot, pick your units and a rotational reference axis, and you're good to go. In electrical routing, the auto route command now includes an option called follow routing path when guidelines are used. When enabled, this allows you to select a predefined 2D or 3D sketch, which essentially acts like a bounding curve for the guidelines, which will try to trace that path. Previously, guidelines would simply take the path of least resistance, and typically required significant manual modification to properly position. Now you can expect faster, more predictable routes when working with guidelines. Rounding out our top 10 for SOLIDWORKS 2026, the Auto Generate Drawing command now includes the ability to create section views and hole callouts, which were previously unavailable. With a 3D experience add in enabled and logged in, use the file dropdown to access Auto Generate Drawing, choose a file name and location, and confirm. The results may require a bit of cleanup, but result in some pretty comprehensive drawings that can save a lot of design time. This capability was originally introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2025 SP1 and has been under development ever since. So if you haven't heard of this improvement until now, that's probably why. Before we wrap up, let's briefly talk about SOLIDWORKS new enhancement policy and the 2025 enhancements you may have missed. In years past, SOLIDWORKS would introduce all enhancements one time per year with each major yearly release. But beginning around 2023, they began introducing more and more enhancements throughout the year as part of service packs or SPs. This was especially true in 2025, where dozens of enhancements were added throughout the course of the following year, including auto-generate drawings. It's very important to note that SOLIDWORKS 2026 includes all of the service pack enhancements that were released for 2025 over the last year but they won't be listed in the What's New documentation for 2026 since they technically came out in 2025. So if you didn't update to one of the later service packs last year, or if you're coming from an earlier version like SOLIDWORKS 2024, you likely missed these features. All that being said, be sure to check out What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2025 in addition to SOLIDWORKS 2026 so you don't overlook powerful new capabilities. And additionally, watch out for service packs containing new enhancements throughout 2026. That's it for our top 10 for 2026, and we hope you enjoyed, but if we forgot your favorite enhancement, be sure to let us know in the comments. And as a reminder, what you've just seen here is the tip of the iceberg. We've got a full series on what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2026 in the works over at solidprofessor.com, along with a feature-length version of our top 10 list with more comprehensive explanations. So go take a look, learn something new, and let us know what you think. And be on the lookout for more tech tips and what's new videos. Thanks again to Ryan Navarro and the Solid Professor team for making this series possible, and thank you for watching what's new in SOLIDWORKS. Mm -hmm.